Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is Sunday, the 23rd of January, 2022. Now you notice how I did that seamlessly and smoothly this time? You know why? Because I had just started again <laughs> before I did this video, and that's why I was laughing, because I had said 2021, and I'm like, oh, they're going to crucify me for that, so... I just erase that one and start it again so that I have the right day, month, and year. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, we're getting a little snow here today at the homestead. We had three sunny days in a row for January, which is yeah, unheard of. <laughs> so, we're back to normal, which is overcast, cloudy, snowy. But that's okay. We, we know Every day is one day closer to spring. That's the way I look at it. So anyhow, uh, here we are, and uh, whew, <laughs> fun times. All right, so before we get into this video, I want to let you guys know uh, I have a live stream tonight at 8 p.m. Um, we're going to be talking about the impending railroad strike that is, is uh, possibly going to be happening soon and what effects that will have. Uh, we will definitely be getting into that, and I think that that's going to be a really, really good topic. And I look forward to seeing all of you uh, tonight, and we will discuss the impact of that if that happens, and uh, we will go from there. All right, so 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So I look forward to seeing you all then. All right, so uh, anyway, uh, so what I wanted to talk about now, you have the 40% um, of all U.S. truck drivers and 20% of all Canadian truck drivers um, do not have the jab. And the new rules are going to be in place here very, very shortly. And it's going to affect these guys. Uh, they're not going to be able to go back and forth across the Canadian border and American border uh, because of rules being put into place. I believe it's, it's Trudeau that's doing that one. Uh, so... That is going to be a huge, huge impact um, on folks. And so I uh, wanted to discuss that. What does that mean? When you're talking about countries at, what, $700 billion worth of trade per year, back and forth uh, across the border, and if you have that huge percentage of people that will now no longer be traveling back and forth across the border, I'm going to tell you, first of all, let's talk about something really quickly. Truck driving is a very thankless job. It is not an easy job. Uh, any of you out there that have done any kind of road trip where you hopped in your car and you packed up your car and you drove and, you know, of course, and you went and you stayed in your nice hotel room at night uh, after you got tired of driving for the day and, and those type of things. And, you know, you did the trip, but you're tired. It's a long haul and, and all those type of things. I've done plenty of them, all right? So I'm, I'm going from my own personal experience. Well, here's the difference between truck drivers, all right? Truck drivers don't stop in a nice little hotel. They sleep in their truck. They have a certain amount of miles that they want to get on, uh, the, on, the, on the truck every day because most of them are paid by the mile. They don't get paid by the hour. Um, if they work 10 hours, they work 12 hours. It don't make any difference. It's how many actual miles they're rolling those wheels each day. Now, or it could be, uh, you know, they have... Uh, two maybe three days to get the freight to the destination and uh, they will get you know whatever the better bonuses and stuff like that so you know you got these these folks ladies and gentlemen that are driving truck that are doing you know six seven hundred miles a day day in day out they are away from their families uh they're sacrificing that way you know, because they're trying to put food on the table for their families and stuff like that. And when you have the government is going to dictate what you have to have to be able to do something, and again, a large percentage of the truckers are not going to do it, and uh, that's just a fact. So you're going to have an issue. Uh, freight's not going to be coming. Freight's not going to be moving. We're not going to be getting those supplies that we normally would get. And, you know, like I said, going into Canada or coming out of Canada. Uh, that's going to have an impact, folks. You may not think that 20% of Canadian drivers and 40% of American drivers, uh, you know, truck drivers, you think, well, that's not that big of a deal. It is that big of a deal because there's nobody stepping up to replace them, number one. 
um, because again, truck driving is not for everybody. My father was a truck driver. Uh, my sister Margie was a truck driver. All right. I actually looked into it at one point, but I didn't want to be on the road for those long stretches like that away from my family. You know, and it's like so that's that's a big part of it. You know, and then the wear and tear on your body when you're not getting proper sleep and proper rest and proper exercise. Uh, you know, or eating properly. And, you know, those guys and ladies that are on the road, they're not eating properly. They're stop and go and diners and, you know, fast food and whatever else that they're doing uh, to try to survive. So they're making it that much more difficult. And when you have, you know, those folks, um, they're, they're, that's, not an, that's not a job that people are lining up going, oh, my God, yes, let me be away from my family for three out of four weeks out of the month or longer. You know, um, I know that one of the truck drivers told me that out of a 30 day month, he's gone 26 days. So I want you to think about that. So there's not a whole bunch of people lining up to say, hey, you know what? I want, I'm okay with being away from my family for that long. That is not a realistic thing. So this is definitely going to have an impact. Uh, you know, once again, I will say this, and I have said this over and over and over again. Okay. If enough of us say no no more we've had enough we're not doing it anymore if enough of us stood up and did that all this nonsense would be over yesterday but as long as people continue to do as they're told be a good citizen uh and all those type of things nothing's going to change nothing's going to change because you know it's just uh you know and, and again then then what happens next after that People are pitted against each other because of choices that they have made. And, and who is anybody else, realistically, I mean, to tell you what you can and cannot do in that aspect? I mean, I don't, I don't get where that's okay. I, I really, truly don't. And, and I've said many, many times, guys, if you want to do it, go do it knock yourself out. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. All right? But you shouldn't be, you shouldn't have to be shamed and bullied and intimidated with loss of your job and all those type of things because you won't get something that you don't want to do. That's just my take on it. Um, you know, like I said, I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback um, in the chat with this one, and or you know, in the comments, of course. And I would like to hear what you would have to say. Uh, interesting world we live in, folks. Very, very interesting world. You know, you know. Here's the thing too, and I want to bring this up briefly and. Uh, you know, this, just so you know, this is not directed at anybody in particular. This is just a statement, um, a fact that I look at. I'm old school. Uh, I, you know, I, uh, I'm always have been a man-to-man, -man, face to face kind of guy. Uh, if I had an issue with somebody, I would try to squash it by talking to them, uh, getting, you know, ending the issue. If, if, if there was something that I was um, involved in, uh, you know then I would, uh, I would call the person. If, you know, if I wasn't able to see them face to face, I would call them and say, hey, you know what? Yeah, I'm just, this isn't good for me or that's not good for me. This generation that we have now out there, they're a bunch of little girls. They, in my, and that's, again, this is just strictly my opinion. Uh, you know, like, uh, I'll give you an example of something. Now, Heather was, was dating this kid in high school, and uh, I said to her, because they were talking, you know, he was getting ready to graduate from high school. She had another year to go. And she was like, you know, Dad, this is, gonna, this is over. I said, you know, you have a choice. Either you can edit yourself. I said, but he's the type of person that will do it through a text. Won't call. Won't act like a man. Won't say, hey, listen, I'm sorry. This hasn't worked out. You know, I need to move on my way. That's not how he would do it. And I knew that's not how he would do it. He would have done it through a text, which to me is gutless. That's a gutless way to do things. Act like a man. Either, you know, see, see the person face to face or give him a phone call and say, hey, listen. And you know what the funny part is? A lot of times uh, there's no hard feelings with that. If you don't want to do something, you shouldn't do it, period. And I 100% with that. If, that's not, if you don't want to be in that relationship with somebody, whatever the case may be, you know, Act like a man. 
don't act like a little girl and this whole texting thing. I never really did get the whole texting thing. I'm a talker on the phone. I'd rather talk to somebody on the phone. But I get it. Some people are gutless. And, uh, you know, the only way they know how to end relationships of any sort is through the text. Because then they don't have to, uh, you know, talk to somebody. And, 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 the, and the, I don't know, like I said, I just, I just don't get that. It doesn't make any sense to me, you know. So, but that's, that is what it is. And, uh, you know, but I, like I said, I'm just using that example from what she dealt with personally. And uh, it's just, I don't, I don't understand this generation. And I can't even call them men. I can't call them men because they don't act like men. Um, I don't get it. And tell me I'm wrong. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. I know a lot of people, you know, oh, I don't want confrontation. It's not a confrontation. That's not a confrontation. You know, um, you know, if you're like, if you're going to, if you're with a job and you're done, just tell them you're done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, even if you're quitting on the spot, have the stones to say, Hey, you know what? I'm done. I quit. I ain't doing this no more. But, uh, like I said, it's a different generation now and they, they handle things differently. And I just, I guess I just don't get it. I'm too old school. <laughs> I was raised by, I was raised by true men. So, but anyway, guys, I am going to, um, get ready to jump off of here. I want to talk about my website really quickly, preppernurse1.com. You want to talk? No. Oh, the camera's towards me. Um, but uh, if you go to my, my website, preppernurse1.com, we have the Preppernurse One community there, which is a resource that we've set up for you guys to be able to connect with like-minded people. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, it is free to join. You do have to register, but no credit card information is asked, and uh, so, you know, that's that's how that goes, all right? Um, oh, and in that situation, just so you know, um, my daughter, she went to him and she ended it. <laughs> she ended it. So that's, you know, so my, my daughter's got more stones than a lot of the men out there today. Just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> But, you know, it's, and, and it hurt her, and it wasn't a fun thing at the time, you know. But uh, anyway, so uh, also on my website we have the Forefathers, which is the CBD and hemp store. So, uh, you know, definitely take advantage of that, too. If you go to my website, preppernurse1.com, you will see that Forefathers logo. Uh, if you click on that, it will take you to their website. Once you're at their website... Uh, uh, once you're on their website, if you decide to make a CBD or hemp purchase, make sure you use the discount code PREPPERNURSE1, okay? Uh, and that's the number one, not O-N-E. Last but not least, we have the Legacy Freeze-Dried Food on my website. 25-year uh, shelf life, GMO-free. Gluten options are available for people that need that as well. Uh, it is also vegetarian, but beef and chicken options can be purchased separately. So definitely take advantage of that as well. Uh, again, go to my website, preppernurse1.com. You click on store, it will drop down. You will see legacy. You click on that, it will take you to the store within the website. All right, folks, well, I am going to jump off of here for now. I will see you tonight for the live stream. I hope everybody has a great day. And uh, remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. So I think it's really, really important that we focus on that. Uh, stop, stop letting them divide us. Stop letting them divide us. Also, uh, remember, hug and kiss the ones that you love every day. Uh, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important to tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all tonight at 8 o'clock. I hope you all have a great night. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.